I'm joined now by John McFall. John is the world's first para-astronaut. Uh, now, tell me, just what does that mean? So ESA have proposed a para-astronaut feasibility project, and what that involves is trying to work out what are the limitations and what are uh, the things prohibiting uh, someone with a physical disability from going into space, identifying those, solving those problems, and then actually seeing, once we've solved those problems, can we feasibly send someone with a physical disability to work uh, in space? And your physical disability as well? Uh, I'm a through-knee amputee. So uh, this is your right... It was a motorcycle accident, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Uh, about 22 years ago, I had a motorcycle accident and, and lost my right leg through the knee uh, and uh, then went on to get involved in uh, Paralympic sports uh, and then trained as a, as a doctor and... Uh, now I'm here today on behalf of ESA for this uh, para-astronaut feasibility project. You're being very modest there. <laughs> you actually won a bronze medal in Beijing at the, uh, the Paralympics. Uh, I did, yes. Yeah, maybe I, I downplayed it a, a little bit. Yeah, it was a tremendous opportunity and Beijing was a, a, a formidable game. What a wonderful stadium and to compete in and, and a great opportunity. So I'm very proud to have had that opportunity. But it's quite a journey, isn't it, from Paralympian to para-astronaut. Uh, uh, what do you think this is going to lead you to? Well, I think in the first instance, this is about understanding the, the limitations of um, getting someone with a physical disability in, into space. Ultimately, I hope that translates for me into an opportunity for space flight. But do you think that a disability, a physical disability of, the, of, the, of your legs is, is an impediment to, to space flight at all? Well, I think that's really the, the, the very point of the project, uh, you know, and we know that, uh, and Tim Peake has often said that everybody is disabled in, in space, in, in microgravity. And actually, we don't know if being an amputee, either wearing a prosthesis or not wearing a prosthesis, is it an advantage, is it a disadvantage? We don't know, which is the whole reason behind this project. But it would be really exciting to, to see you getting a stint on the ISS, but you're not there as a space tourist. You will be there as a professional astronaut. Oh, absolutely. You know, my, my intention is to, is to be there and work and contribute to the tremendous science that, that goes on on places like the International Space Station. But it is just a matter of working out what you need to, to do that job to your, your best stability. Exactly, yeah. And, and that might be uh, the, the journey to space that is the, the trickiest part, or is there something else that you would envisage that needs to be overcome to, to make it work? I think it's multifactorial. I think you could probably break it down into how do you train, uh, how does my amputation and my disability affect the, the preparation that you need to do on Earth? How does it affect your um, you being fitted into a spacecraft, into a spacesuit for being sent to wherever you're going? And then actually how does it affect you physiologically and um, functionally uh, in microgravity? So those are probably the three domains that we would have to consider. John, thank you very much indeed.